this is Marlene from Uniquely Ella, and I have a journal that I want to show you today. This baby took me a long time to make because I was having so much fun. Her name is Hortensia, which means hydrangea. I like to name all my journals after flowers because I just love flowers. But there's only one of her. I usually like to make at least two of what I make because I would like to keep one and then I always put one for sale. But this one, there could not be another one. It's just one. Um, so let's get started, okay? I'm going to go little by little. I still feel kind of awkward making videos um, and trying to get my lighting right and everything. Any ideas or suggestions I would greatly um, appreciate it. So let's dig into Hortensia. Let me tell you a little bit about what inspired me to make her. And basically, like everything else, is the fabric. Fabric just tells, it just inspires me. It tells me the direction that I should go to. I mean, really, it was 100% the fabric on this journal. And the fabric is just a piece of fabric that I actually found at a thrift shop. And it's beautiful. It was a little bit dark. But I'll tell you what I did to it to tone it down a little bit. So Hortensia has two signatures. They're hand-sewn signatures. There's two of them. And she measures approximately like 10 to 12 inches. So it's a nice size, you know, chunky journal. And, okay, let me show you the fabric in the back. Because the fabric in the back, I did nothing to it. It's the true colors of the fabric. And basically, look how pretty that, look at that. Look how pretty that work is. But it, it was a little bit dark. It's like quilted. The fabric is kind of like quilted. It was a little dark for my taste. So I wanted to tone it down a little bit. But I didn't want to quite tea dye it or anything. I didn't want to ruin the fabric. So what I did is that I use some tool that I had tea dyed. So I got that tea dyed color from there without risking you know messing up the fabric or anything that I loved and then what I did I just did like some you know crazy sewing stitching all over the place and then I literally broke and opened little holes in the tool just to kind of expose a little bit the fabric that was underneath and there's some beautiful embroidery I don't think this was factory done I think this was like maybe hand done but anyway that's how I got that toned down look. See how I tore the tool a little bit? You can see it over here. That's how I got that torn look about it. And I like it. See, the back's a little darker than the front. So anyway, let's get going because I'm afraid it's going to be a while. Um, so I just basically went crazy with all my linens. Like this is a literally torn and tattered piece of tablecloth, vintage tablecloth that I love. I only have a few little snippets left and I love it. This is from a wedding dress, like a little ruffle from a wedding dress. And this is that tablecloth again and tablecloth again and just all over the place. And this is from a cushion. This All this is in the back and this is the front part. But I just really went kind of crazy with it and I just like everything I did with it. Um, she feels really good to the touch. She's a little pliable, but not too much because of the signatures. What I did is that I put a little bit of batting inside and a real thin chipboard, and then I sandwiched that and I covered the front. So let me show you her closure. Her closure is just, this came from, I think a piece of linen. I took the corner off and I attached it and it's kind of, just kind of like for show. And then the um, this is just a piece of fabric that I have that I love that it's got like they're not quite Swiss dots they're kind of like little squares in the fabric and it's kind of like a little bit of a linen and it's all tattered and I love it so it kind of ties like that here and the tie kind of holds this flap that's what I kind of had in my mind anyway but it and then this is a beautiful um, vintage um, I think it was like a pin. I sewed it. It's all sewn in here so that's not going anywhere and then I cover the stitches with the little doily. But I love that as a closure. I think it's so pretty. This would look so pretty in a coffee table just just to look at. 
Okay, so let's get started and let's dig right in. So she opens up like this. I had so much fun making this. I got some cheesecloth here. I mean, it's like just layers and layers and layers of all kinds of stuff. So let's open her up. She opens like this. She's huge, so I'm hoping I can get her in frame. Yeah, that's in frame. I think that'll work. Uh, so let's see how we do with this. So like I said, she was inspired by a flower that I love. And I had this old book on teas, on all kinds of teas and all kinds of therapeutic stuff. So you're going to see a lot of these guard cards throughout the book that I just added a little lace or you know, just added some embellishment to them. The very back of the page, which I personally usually do not like to put anything on the back page. I like for whoever purchased the book to do that. I like to leave it empty, but I don't know why I was just inspired to make a little pocket here out of a vintage doily. And I just layered everything up. And then I made a little, some few little cards and a tag. I love this fabric. This fabric work right here with the, um, what do you call it, the paisley design. I love that. I have it throughout the book and I don't have very much left, but I just love, I don't know why I just love that. So I made like a little pocket type of thing and I think I forgot all that I made. No, this is just a little card that I just put in there for fun. And paper clip has a little bit of linen on top and all this goes in the pocket in the inside. Okay, I made a little flip, a little fabric flip here with a little bit of uh, some French dictionary page. No, this is English dictionary page right here. And then here right on top, I don't know if you can see, but I love the look of lace and dictionary page. I just love that whole look. I don't know why, I've always have. So anyway, I put a little, the papers that I use for this collection, I don't know if I did any downloads. I'm not sure, because like I said, I've been working on this for like three months. And I don't remember. But I know that some of the papers were from my collections and books that I had. And I might have done one or two downloads, but I, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, I used a lot of little pieces of tapestry material, upholstery material that I've had, which I really like. So I put a little piece there. And here's a little paper clip with the tiniest of little tag. That's so cute. And this is a printable. I do know this little piece right here. It's a printable from, uh, I think I want to say, um, some ledger paper or something. I love that little tag. So let me put it here so I don't forget it. And then I made another flip here again with the uh, dictionary book pages and some uh, sari silk and, you know, I have to make a real conscious effort on my journal to leave plenty of space for to journal on. And usually my philosophy is going to be 100% with my journals. I'm not going to try to embellish the inside that much. I'm going to, if I make a pocket, if I make like a floating pocket or some tags or anything, I'll embellish it and, you know, some of it, but I'll just leave it all loose so that whoever buys the journals can incorporate as much as they want or as little as they want, except for this journal that I went crazy and I did it all myself. So there's not a whole lot, any, you know, that you, you could probably incorporate a little bit, but there's not really that much left to journal on. So here's some line paper. This is a printable and this is from a printable too. And there's that pretty, um, um, tablecloth that I told you and this is just a little button I sewed on uh, this is from a magazine no this is from a, a 1940s or 50s uh, book on gardening that I love I need to scan some of these images I love this book and then on this page this is from a paper collection that I don't remember which one um, this is a piece of tapestry, and then here we just have 
another one of the paper clips that I like to make with just a couple of printables just for fun. So that's going to go in here. Uh, here I made a little um, pocket, just a tiny little pocket with a couple of little tags just for fun. This is a Victorian book that I've had forever and this tag I am totally completely in love with and I think it's because of that chunky piece of jewelry that I was able to put on there. Let me see if I can uh, just the way the camera set up. It's not working with me. There you go. I love that. This is from uh, the, the sleeves of a wedding dress and I just love that piece of chunky jewelry. And here's another tiny little piece of that ledger paper that I told you that I love that I used on that tag. I don't have a good printer because it runs out of ink like super fast. That's one of my wish things to get next year. So when I print, I try to use every single little piece of what I use, what I print. Um, so that's my tag that I love. Uh, let's see, another paper with lines. And I did a little stamping in the corner. Uh, this is from a paper collection too. And I put a little piece of a um, doily here with a little collage and then some trim. And this, I think this comes off. No, it doesn't come off, but you can tuck something underneath. And this is just another little collage with another little ticket here. This is a tiny little flap that I did a little embellishment on. I love this stamp. I think, I don't know, I want to say it's Tim Holtz, but I'm not sure it's an old stamp. I have a lot of old stuff. And it's the number stamp, and I love it. This is from a paper collection. I love eyelet trim. You'll see a lot of it throughout the book. And then just a little paper collage. This is the flap of an envelope that's in there. And this is a printable that I love. I got it online. Yeah, I did do a lot of printables here. And some sari silk. And there's here's that ledger paper that I hope I save the file because I love how that feels. The print on that I love. Um, let me bring, I don't know if it's that better, the lighting. I think so. Um, here's the back of that flap of that envelope. Here's another page that I stamp uh, some crackle finish and a feather and just a little collage with some of the printables from online. That is from a paper collection. This is a little bit of the corrugated board uh, paper that I like to use sometimes. Uh, this is a printable with some more of that lace. And this is just a little book that I made for some secret journaling in there. That goes under here another page here I made a tab and here we're getting into some of my tea dye papers this goes down like that this is the center of the first signature and I always like to add little buttons here and there here's another tag I love this um, this fabric so much and there's the top of the tag in the back I like when you can see the stitching on it and here's a little envelope out of um, glassine those glassine envelopes that we all use and then this is just a tiny little tag thing the Sun's going in and out and that's why you are seeing it darker sometimes and lighter uh, what else do we have here here's a mega tag with a really pretty pearl attachment and a little bit of uh, that cotton fabric that I'm running out of. And here I just made a collage of all kinds of things. Let me bring it up close and see if you can see it better. But there's like a lot going on there. I even forgot how I did it. But it's just a mishmash of all kinds of stuff. And that's just how I like to roll. This is the back. 
Oh, I love this. Let me show you this. Because I love little children images. Anybody that knows me knows that. I like how that one turned out. And also just the mishmash stuff. And, oh, I like this too. I like everything about this book. Uh, this is how I chose to embellish the little um, microfilm. Uh, what else do we have here? So, just, uh, some onion skin paper. That goes in there. This is the other side of the envelope. Uh, this is another little collage. Music sheet paper. There's that stamp. You can see it better there. What else? Flipping. Flipping. Oh, this is a printable. I love that page. And some more of the eyelet trim. And then I added a piece of some other wallpaper printable and another little piece here. So I kind of made up my own little collage. And this is also a wallpaper printable. And um, I'm going to link her sh shop underneath. Her name is Ruby and Pearl. She's on Instagram too. That's how I found her. And she has the prettiest printables that you can find. And she keeps adding and adding. I think I have most of all of her printables. But anyway, I'm 100% sure that's from her. This was from a seed packet. And I turned it into like a little... Uh, tag looking thing to go into the um, this little glossing bag uh, let me try making it a little brighter this is another little tab this is the center signature this is from a paper collection also that's not a printable there's a little button thing little cluster here that I love you see that? It's got two little buttons. Love that. Uh, this is from that book, the 1940 book, uh, 50 book that I told you, and I made a little tab for it here. Uh, what else? That's a paper collection also. See, now I got bright again. Sorry. Um, this is another one of my, you know, well, there's that printable again. I just have to show you that. Look how pretty that looks. This is just a cluster of yumminess. That I like to call it. Just whatever my heart told me to put there, I did. This is from that, uh, I don't know if, it, if it's a Reader's Digest or something, but it's all in this holistic tea stuff. Oh, I love this page. Let me show you that. There's that ledger again. Printables. Big pocket. This was fun. That was a lot of fun. Here's some more of that ledger that I love. A little tab. Here's a little cluster with some of that upholstery fabric that I ran through the washing machine to get that yumminess looking like all kinds of threads here. You can see it here better. See how it's all frayed and tattered? I did that on purpose. That's that. Oops, sorry. See, I told you. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Oh, uh, what else? Another page with some collage. See, plenty of room to journal on. This is a printable. More eyelet trim. This is another one of my cluster collage thing that I like. Uh, this is a printable, I think. This has a cute little button. Here I made a little tag thing with this pretty little. And this is some more of the upholstery material. This is another. Oh, I love this one too. This was from a tag exchange I did. This tag must be, I don't know, seven, eight years old. And I just added all that on. And I love that in the back that you can see all that stitching. This is another tag looking thing. 
This is another printable, more of the upholstery fabric. What's here? Oh, I like that. I just love that ledger paper everywhere. See that? And then every time you turn a page, you can see some of the dangles. And I really like that. I don't know if this is from Ruby and Pearl. I really don't know if that printable is from her, but most of the printables are from her. Uh, another page. Some more of that pretty ledger paper. Here's this one. I like that. This is from... I don't remember, but it's a paper collection. And here's a little dangle that I did with some bead. I think this was a broken, if I can get it frame, a broken either necklace or little bracelet or something. Almost done. Vintage book page with some more of that upholstery fabric that I beat up. Oh, what else? Another little flap here. Yeah, this is huge. This book is huge. Here's another upholstery little flap. Um, this is like just some little tags that I attached. This is the signature of this is the center of the other signature. And what else do we have here? This is another glassine bag that I attached some goodies to. Just for fun. You can journal on this and hide it in the envelope if you like. This is, I think this might be the last of this trim. I love this trim. Another from the garden book. This is how I attached. Sometimes I don't like to use pins or anything. I like to literally sew on the beads. I love that. But sometimes I'll use pins too. I just like to do that. More pages. Plenty of room to journal on. This is from Ruby and Pearl. I love this printable because of the pink. And the blue. Love that. Uh, more of that pretty ledger paper and just a nice little cluster. This is a mother of pearl little, I don't know, probably from a bracelet or something. And I took it for me. Um, another little cluster here. Hope you can see it. There goes the lighting again. See that? And what else? I see, I'm almost done. A few more pages. Oh, I love this page because I love green tea. So, I have a little cluster. This has a little pocket. And this flips out like that. And there's a seat packet underneath. I love this page because I love the printable. Let me show you all that's going on in here. Look how pretty that wallpaper is. And this is tea dyed. This is the trim of a wedding dress that I tea dyed. So it acts as a, it acts as a tag also. Plenty of room to journal on. Another little cluster down here. This is from that book, that holistic book. And this is another little cluster. This is the back of that. And this is the last page. And that's the back of a journal. And this I sewed right up here in this corner just for more dangle and more dimension and more fun. And I know this is from a bracelet. And there's another mother of pearl little um, button. So yes. There you have her. Her name is Hortensia. And she's good to go. You can just see all her yumminess in here. I 
love how she turned out. This was a lot of fun. And again, I apologize for the quality of the video and everything else. So I hope you picked up some little tips here and there. I might do like little tutorials later on how I put those little clusters together because I think everybody you think you might want, you might benefit from that. Um, but I hope you picked up some ideas and some things that you might want to incorporate in your in your journals. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.